Hey guys, I'm here with home. It's a pixelated horror game, as you can see. So let's go and jump into it. Let's see. Put aside an hour and a half and complete home in one sitting. An hour and a half? Damn. Alright. My headphones, turn off lights. We've got that going. Hey. Let's see. All I remember at that all I remembered at that point was finding myself alone. Oh, on my head, where was I? It was so dark. There was something by my feet. A flashlight? Oh, damn. Alright. How do we move? Okay, arrow keys to move. This time around. Uh... What the hell? How do we interact? Okay, space to interact. The house. That house. Where was I? Oh god. There was a body lying on the floor. Who was it? Oh, okay. Mm. Oh right arrow keys. <coughs> what the fuck? There's stairs over there. Something leaking up there. case. The desk had a computer and some papers on it in a single drawer. I didn't want to stoop, but did I open the drawer? Yes. Receipts, pens, and a blurry photo looked like a store of some kind. Why did it look so familiar? I don't know. You tell me. Oh, lovely. Blood on the wall. It smelled fresh and sickening. I realized there was a pool. There was blood on my shoes and pants. Oh man, I had to get out of there. All right, well, let's get out of there. Oh, yeah, damn it. I keep forgetting this arrow case to move. Let's go downstairs. I noticed that I limped as I moved down the stairs. How did I hurt my leg, I wondered. All I could really recall was coming home, seeing Rachel. I was upset. She looked afraid. I shook my head and tried to clear it. I knew I should head downstairs to try and find a way out. The shelf was full of books on local history and hunting. Something seemed like th the owner of the house really knew the area. Uh, okay. So there's a door that way. What's this way? Another staircase. What the fuck is that? A thin gray mouse was stuck in a trap. It looked frantic but exhausted. Did I free it? Yes. A collection of rusty tools, these looked like they seen a lot of use and were cracked or were caked in damp smelling dirt. Why weren't they in a shed? I don't know. Oh, a picture. I found a picture of a couple. It looked like it had been moved a lot. There seemed to be a switch behind it. Did I put the switch? Yes. It pressed smoothly into the wall. I heard a far away click somewhere. Alright, let's see. The fuck. Hmm. So I'm guessing I have no idea. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. What the fuck was that sound? God damn. Son of a bitch. An old dining table covered in dirty dishes for two people. There were dozens of beer cans and other liquor bottles among the dishes. The smell was turning my stomach. Oh, the fuck. A black and white photo looked like the man upstairs and his wife, I guess. There was no reason for me to keep this. Did I take it? Sure. I slipped a photo into my pocket. Maybe this will help me find some answers. What the fuck? Okay, shit. Arrow keys, goddammit. You will be the death of me. Fuck you, man. <sighs> the door was taped up and seemed to be stuck. By the smell of it, I guess it led to the kitchen. I'm so fucking tired of getting scared. 
That switch in the wall worked. The door had been unlocked. Been fucking tastic. There's a box here. <sighs> fucking hell. What the f What? Fuck. There were sheets of paper all over the kitchen table. It looked like a series of names were written down, but they were too smudged to read. I can only make out a few of the notes. Keycard. Ocker. Last one, I promise. It didn't make much sense at the time. Okay. I looked like hell. My clothes were dirty and torn, and there was mud caked all over my shoes. <sighs> the front door was locked by a pile of furniture. I knew I had to find another way out. How odd. The bathroom was spotless. Everything had been wiped to a sheen. I wonder if it was the man's wife who did the cleaning, or him. My phone is vibrating. There was a photo development tray lying on the floor. Some leftover negatives were sticking out, but they were pretty blurry. God, phone. Turn that down. I thought I saw what looked like treetops. Uh. Alrighty then. <clears throat> treetops. Photos. Fucking fantastic. Um... The box looked heavy, but there were marks on the floor. It had obviously been moved before. <clears throat> Maybe I had found a way out. I must have moved it, right? Yeah, of course. I heaved the box forward and it finally gave. Let's get the fuck out. There was a ladder going underground where the box was. A dark, sm a dank smell rose from the passageway. Did I climb down the ladder? But yeah, it seems like the only fucking way to go at this point. I looked again at the photo I found in the house. The couple looked distant, like they didn't want to be in the same picture. I wonder where the wife was. My leg was in terrible shape, but I had to get out. The fuck? Footprints in the dirt. Looked like there were more than one kind and a lot of traffic. What kind of fucking house is this? Has footprints and dirt and shit and then there's shit closing everywhere. Places all over were marked on the, on the old map of town. The industrial area near the river. Various houses and even the water tower near the old rail station. <clears throat> Newspaper clippings from the local paper. They were all about murders in town over the last few years. Wait. There were photos. Photos of our house. What the hell was that about? Maybe I should have looked around more to try to find some kind of information. Fuck that. Oh, Rachel, please be okay. I wanted to rush home, but I had to find out first. And I needed to see what else was down here. There. It's so re weird playing this game right now, reading the notes and his dialogue in the third person. Or not in the third person, but in the past tense. It was so dark down there, and the air smelled stale and putrid. I couldn't believe what I saw. What was this place? Fucking no. Fucking guy that lives by fucking hell. The desk looked old and was caked with grime. On it was a stack of old faded paper covered with what looked like names. They were scratched out and illegible notes and illegible notes were written beside them in faded blue ink. I could only make out a few letters. He if a he er ought for oh, okay. <laughs> None of it made any sense to me. Alrighty then. Well what's this way? What the f oh god. There looked to be bones half dug into the ground, and the remains looked old and looked old. The faded clothes that stuck up amongst the dirt looked familiar. They looked like the clothes that woman wears wearing the photo I found. Was this the man's wife? What the fuck? Well, if it's bones and shit, it had to have been dead for quite some time, right? What the hell? Some kind of homemade rack flung together with poorly cut wood and rope. It was caked with old blood. <clears throat> Somebody didn't actually use that, did they? I don't know. Crudely made shelves. They looked like they were holding cans of some kind of corrosive. The labors were worn and slick, but I could still see the warnings. 
warnings. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. It looked like a cage. It was small, but there was something coating the bottom. Something wet. Ugh. That place was getting worse all the time. I knew how to keep moving. Well, then go down the fucking stairs. Ladder. Whatever that fucking thing is. Some kind of old boxes. They look like they were years old. Wait a minute. These boxes had old clothes in them. Clothes I remember throwing out after Rachel and I moved to town. What the hell were they doing down there? No fucking idea, dude. What the fuck is that? Oh, bats? Yep. Alrighty then. The sounds in this game are bad. They're like creepy. They. S Ugh. I remember noticing the broken ladder. I had to be careful. Let me just walk right over it. No fucks given. No problem. What the fuck is this? There was rope hanging there. I wasn't sure how sturdy it was. Did I take it? Sure. Maybe the rope would make that broken ladder easier to descend. Good, so we don't... What the fuck? Oh my god. This is creepy as fuck. The rope I found would have... Let me climb down the broken ladder safely. Did I climb down? Yes! Let's get the fuck out of here. You're obviously psychotic. I could hear a faint hum and the smell from before started to get worse. A faint hum? What the fuck, dude? You're so fucking insane, clearly. Ugh. A bunch of old newspapers. Wheat paste paper. <laughs> I'm scared. A bunch of old newspapers we pasted together. A message had been hastily smeared in it. Keep out. Danger due to cave in. How convenient. God. I hate this game. Fuck. What the fuck? My hands tingled. What? My hands tingled <laughs> from the burn of sliding down that rope. It was lucky I found that. Who knows what would have happened if I had jumped down. Especially with your ankle. Still, it was all I could do to not have rushed out of that awful place. That rack, those terrible tools. What the hell was going on back there? Oh no. The metal door groaned as I leaned to it, causing my heart to skip a beat at the sound. As I peered ahead into the darkness of the next room, I worried that I should have taken that gun I saw. But with me with it. What gun? I didn't see a fucking gun. There was dirt on the ground, it looked wet, and there was glass smeared within it. What gun? I looked all over the place, I thought. Where there was a fucking... There was a fucking gun? I did not see it. I could hear a faint trickling sound like water. What was that? Water, maybe? Exit. What's this? Kitchen knife covered in drying blood. Think about it made me sick. I didn't even want to touch it. Did I take the knife? Yes. Somehow the knife seemed a better idea than the gun in the t than the gun in the tunnel. What gun? I never saw a gun, but since we missed the gun, let's fucking take the knife. God damn! Ah! Fuck you! Fuck you! God, what the fuck? The door was locked. There's a musty smell from inside. Shit! One. Fucking fantastic. I wasn't sure, but I thought it was some kind of regulator. I had no idea how it worked. Uh, I wasn't sure what those valves were for. Did I turn it anyway? Why not? Uh, pumping in it. It's not pumping water anymore. Oh, shit. Fuck me. Uh, I hate my life. Why am I doing this? Okay, I wasn't sure what those valves were for. Did I turn it anyway? Yeah. Okay. Good. I don't have to fucking. 
Uh, I can't. I can't. Uh. uh. Fuck. Oh yeah, the store is locked. I forgot. Okay, let's keep going. This fucking game! I've screamed so much already. Exit. This is like legitly the exit. There was a rusty ladder sunk into the water, which smelled disgusting. I knew that I could climb down that. To drain the putrid water, didn't I go and like... <coughs> sorry. Then I go and press all those fucking valves? Or turn them, what have you? Oh, fuck, I keep going to the locked door. Okay. Turned off the water flow in this valve. Okay. That's good, right? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, wait, that machine was caked in gray. I don't think it was working anyway. But I could turn this shut off its flow. This water valve. Shut off the flow. Yes. Didn't I do this already? But I could turn this valve to shut off the flow. Yes. Looked like I turned off the valve. Okay, he turned off that one already. So we turned all these we've turned all these valves, right? There's still fucking water. The fuck? Don't understand. It's a ladder. Maybe there's something up here that'll help us. What the fuck is this? Disgusting. It was a mess of filthy garbage bags. There was rips and tears in most of the bags. What well, looked like an old videotape was taken out. Did I take the tape? I wasn't sure what I hoped to discover with the tape, but I took it anyway. Where the fuck do we even play a tape in a place like this? I don't fucking even know. I don't even know what the fuck is going on. Ugh, I don't know what's going on. really don't. What the fuck do I do? <sighs> what do I do? Uh... Oh wait, what? Look like I shared the water flow in this valve. Oh, did I not turn them all the way? Is that what it was? Still active. Still active. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I see. Some of them you had to turn more than once. Got it. Got it. Dirt. I'm dumb. Alright. Let's see. Let's go back the other fucking way. And then go to the exit. Okay. The water's gone. <sighs> I hate this game. I hate this game. I hate this game. <laughs> Don't make loud noises. Fuck. The safety poster had definitely seen better days. How old was that facility? I don't fucking know. The door was locked. I could hear, see a faint light within. I don't care. Let's go. God. Ugh. It's two doors. Mmm. Oh, good. I found another dead body, a sewer worker. By w the wounds all over his face and body, I figured he'd be stabbed repeatedly. What the fuck? There was a key ring sticking out of the man's pocket. Did I take it? Yes. Thought about the knife I'd found with some disgusting as I had found with some disgusting. Oh, with some disgust. I'm stupid. As I carefully picked the keys from his pocket, I was almost worried he was going to grab me. Let's, 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 let's not. <laughs> The video camera. There was a security camera in the room. There must have been a way to see what happened. Maybe the VHS tape I found could be useful. Well, duh. Ugh, I don't give a fuck. There was a hint of fresh air here. It must have been an air exit. But I wondered, what did 
the key I found on the serial worker do, and what what was on the videotape I found. I don't fucking know. That's for another playthrough. I'm just so creeped out. As I slowly climbed the ladder, I felt the knife in my boot and the jolting pain in my leg. I wondered what was on that VSA tape I found, or in that locked room. Should I have gone back to check? As I popped the latch above me, the dank scent of pine trees pushed aside the horrible smell of those sewers. I don't want to fucking be down there in the sewers. Fuck that. Okay. We're finally out. Watch fucking Slenderman appears and kills us. What the fuck kind of iron makes steel shit makes that fucking noise? What is that? No ladder leading to an ancient water tower. The ladder needed to be extended so I can climb it. Did I extend the ladder? Yes. I popped the latch and brought the ladder down. Let's go. Lovely. Okay, climb the second set of ladders. Oh god. What is that? What the fuck is that? In a patch of smeared dirt and grass, there was a beat up old wallet. I thought it was mine. Did I take it? What? I folded the wallet and turned it to my back pocket. It looked nicked up somehow and really worn. There weren't any cards or ID in it. I thought I should recover my credit card and driver's license at least. What? How would you know it's yours? And why would it be all the way up here and you think it's yours? Oh, I don't even know. From the railing, I can see over the woods and down to the entrance to the sewer. Had I come through before? Obviously, since you just fucking picked up your wallet, apparently. If I did, someone definitely could have seen me. What? Could have seen you? Oh, I see. Coming out of the hole. Makes sense. But yet your wallet's up here. Ugh. Okay. There's a fucking arrow. Alright, let's follow the fucking arrow. Mm. Oh god, there's like so many doors. What's this? A heavy pad lock bare the rusted, co the rust covered door. I tried the key ring I got from the sewers, but none of the keys worked. I didn't think I'd be able to get through, and I didn't feel strong enough to climb the fence. Okay. That doesn't even mm, sound like iron closing. That sounds like fucking death noise. <sighs> this must have been the entrance to the forest that was mentioned on that map I had seen. Whoever was poking around in those tunnels underneath that man's house had scribbled notes on this place, but I couldn't make them out. Here the sign pointed out various campsites and walking paths in the woods. It, was, it mentioned a river and maybe a washroom, but the rest was too faded to see clearly. Alrighty then. What's this? What the fuck is that? Eh? The f what the what? Trampled into the dirt and grass was plastic card of some kind. I brushed it off and was surprised to see it was my credit card. I wasn't sure if it was still usable, but it was mine. Did I take back the my credit card? Yeah, sure. I pocketed the credit card. Hopefully, I can find my driver's license too. We can find some more fucking dead bodies while we're over here. Ooh, what? Through the fence, I could see a dilapidated outbuilding. I wonder if I could find a way, my way around. Oh, I see. Ugh. What the fuck is going on in this game? I don't even know. This guy, his shit's like strewn everywhere. And there's other shit rustling about. There was a fire pit there. It was still a bit warm and a few embers still burned at the bottom. Two folding camp chairs were on the ground. One was knocked over. There were a couple of cans of beer spilled onto the ground. The cheap dome tent slept two people. I showed my flashlight inside. I could see some bedrolls, two packs, two backpacks, and a cooler. Okay, so what the fuck is going on? This guy is wandering around the sewers that are underneath this house, and he's just his stuff is strewn everywhere. Apparently, like his credit card we just found. And he knew the wallet was his, and his driver's license, and what have you. I don't understand. There are some personal effects shoved back into that rock. Wait, there's a notebook too. Did I read it? Inside the cheap dollar store notebook was a page was page upon worn page of names and lists. 
None of it made much sense. The newest page contained several names. Heather, Olivia, Ashley, Cheryl, Iris, Daphne, Holly, Rose, Rachel. Rachel. Her name was lost on the list and had a black and had a mark beside it in blue ink. The names Daphne and Olivia had been crossed out in the same blue ink. Cheryl, Heather, and Rose has been crossed out, but these marks look older and more faded. The fuck? This guy is a bit sketchy. What the hell? This is just fucking weird. I think we found our way around, though. What the fuck is going on here? The grimy stick had a small patch in it that looked almost clean. Okay. A rusty and musty wooden plank propped up the, sol the stall door. It didn't really seem useful. Did I bother to take it? Sure. I wasn't sure why, but I took the plank. <laughs> because we can. What the fuck is this? Is this just a bathroom? So we're on the other side of that fit. No, no. Is that what that says? No, no. What? Why is this stuff saying no, no, no everywhere? Ugh. Whoops, I think I just went that way. I don't even know where I'm supposed to be going. Like, half this video is going to be filled for me going back and forth throughout these bushes. Hmm. Let's see. What the fuck? God damn it. God fucking damn it. Yeah, we were just there. Where are we trying to go? Fucking idea. Um. Can barely, can barely see anything. We were just here. We were seriously going around in circles. I damn it! Fucking fuck! Ah! Damn it! Uh. Went in a big fucking circle. What the hell? Oh shit! A dry, old, a dry old picnic table sat lonely amongst the trees. It had carvings and marks from years of previous campers. As I tried to read some of the names of the marks, I idly thumbed a knife I'd found. If if I wanted to, I could have carved something in today's table. Did I? Sh sure. With a few crew strokes, I etched a simple design into the wood. R plus H. I felt like a teenager defacing the table. That's sweet, I guess. In a very weird way. The plank I found was long enough to form a crude bridge. But I wasn't sure if it would hold. Did I use it? Yep. Crude, huh? Seems to be the... the th Fuck you. Fuck you, noise. Two bodies, two young women, were half dug into a hasty, shallow grave between the trees. The younger-looking one was still face up. Her head, her dead eyes gleamed against my flashlight. Oh, gross. They deserved better than that. Did I clean up the gravesite? Yeah. I tried to cover them up a bit more, and I closed the younger woman's eyes. I fashioned a crude marker. There's that word again. I wasn't sure why, but I felt I had to do something. Huh. The girls weren't carrying IDs, so I couldn't determine their names. I only hoped that whoever had done this had done it quickly. I wonder now if they had a phone or something at their campsite. Maybe I could call for help. I was just at their campsite. We didn't find shit. Are you fucking kidding me? Ugh, no. Well, where do we go? can't seem to keep going that way. Girls rink, yeah, yeah. I already read this part. Alright, I'm gonna cut it here for now, and then I'll be back with a second part to this. Thanks for watching.